How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Sierra Cero. I appreciate you guys clicking on to my video. This video will be for my uh, Virgo Someone Rising. How you doing? How you doing, Virgo? Keep in mind, this is not going to resonate with everyone. So please take what does and what doesn't. Throw that shit out. Anyway, all right, Virgo. Let's go ahead and see what's in your energy. What love messages we have for you within this week here. Okay? All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? All right. What's coming towards Virgo in love? What is coming towards Virgo in love? Y'all, excuse you, girl. It's hot outside. Anyway, so what's coming towards Virgo in love? What is coming towards Virgo in love? What's coming towards Virgo in love, Spirit? Ooh, we have an air sign coming in fast, honey. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini coming in fast, honey. They got something to say. But they might be coming in a little bit reckless here, okay? Not really thinking things through, okay? So it could be a Leo. You could um, A Leo could be significant in this situation. But somebody trying to gather all this strength here, Virgo, to come towards you, okay? They're like, they got to come towards you. All right. Mmm, Queen of Cups. All right? So we have a Leo here, an air sign, and also a water sign. So it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that is also coming towards your love. Now, this woman... Um, could be a family member, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be a lover, all right? But definitely, I'm seeing it's about three people that's coming towards you. A Leo, maybe, okay? A Knight of Swords, an Air sign, and also maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. More of a feminine energy here. One of these people, or all of these people, are filled with regret. But what I'm getting is here, this Air sign in particular, because we have the King of Swords here. They dominate in this reading, but this Air sign is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, a Libra is definitely having some type of regrets here with the Five of Cups. And they still are in love with you here, Virgo. But they're trying to gather all that strength that comes towards you. But it's like when they come towards you, it's like it's not in like a peaceful manner. Okay? It's like I'm here like you need to make a decision or else. What have you. Wow. But here got the Queen of Swords here. So we have a King and a Queen of Swords. So we have a pair here. So... This person could be wanting to come towards you. You, probably, you already know who this person is. I'm getting. Okay, Virgo. But what I'm getting is that you're going to cut their ass off before they can even come in the door, honey. All right? And it's like due to some type of lies and deceit and deception. Like, you know, tower moment. Look at that. Mm -mm. You're going you gonna to cut their ass out, Virgo. Is what I'm getting. Whoever this air sign is, Virgo, you going to cut their answers out. Because you already guarded against this person. It's like you already have your defenses up. You already have your guard up when it comes to this person. Because you know they're reckless. All right? <laughs> All right? All right. Let's see, honey. So some of y'all, some of my Virgos with the Queen of Pentacles, y'all just focus on y'all bag. You're not really worried about this person. Um, Yeah, some of y'all could be taking on a new opportunity with someone else here with the uh, Knights of Pentacles. Okay? You could be taking your time in that situation with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new... This could be a new individual here. You're starting a new beginning with this person. You feel like this person is divinely guided towards you. Definitely, okay? You're, there's going to be some type of good news coming towards you, Virgo. This is not you as in the Knight of Pentacles for a masculine, all right, Virgos. But I'm definitely seeing that it's going to be some good news about an opportunity that's going to come your way, whether that be with money or that be a new suitor. But there is an error sign here that is coming in, okay? They still have feelings for you. All right, but it's like you're trying to decide or they're trying to decide and they're stuck on whether or not, you know, approaching you. Okay, Virgo? Yeah, they have sleepless nights about coming towards you, but it's like when they come in, it's like they're coming in reckless. Like, come on now. Then we have the Six of Swords. So some of you already moved away from this situation, but this person is feeling like they're losing you here, Virgo, or they already lost you. Some of you could have kids with this person and y'all moved away with the children. Okay, or that could have been a man that came and swept you off your feet for some of my Virgos and took you and your child on <laughs> away from this individual. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This person's stuck due to some type of confusion. They try to keep you confused or this person had a lot of options here. Whoever this air sign is had a lot of freaking options. Okay, all right, but I'm definitely seeing that this person is still in love with you, Virgo. All right, but you're... you're 
Eight of Cups, you walked away from this situation emotionally because this person was taking a dang on sweet on time, playing games, and it's like you have to walk away emotionally from this situation. Judgment. This situation is over with. That's why this person coming in reckless as hell because they know it's over, but they don't want to let you go. Okay, Virgo? But it's like you're taking on a new opportunity somewhere else. You're not worried about this situation at all. Okay? The world card in reverse. But I tell you, this person don't want to let you go here. This person does not want to end this cycle with you. They want to give to you. They want to continue to give to you, what have you. But, yep, they also want to apologize to you. They want to apologize for whatever they did to you, Virgo. They want to apologize. Okay? Then we have, look, five of pentacles, six of wands. Yeah, you block this person from your success, from your happiness. Okay, you're not giving to them anymore. You feel more successful, you know, um, doing your own thing here with the full card. Some of you could have been dealing with an Aries. But definitely, you're going towards a new beginning and you feel like that's more successful than whatever this person was trying to do. Okay, but you're done with that situation. Whether or not they want to believe it, but that situation is over. Okay? And it's like, some of you, could, look, they coming in. They are coming in, Virgo. With some type of communication. But when they come in, like I said, with the tower card, it's like, you're going to stop them in their track. You know what I'm saying? You're going to definitely stop them in their track. Look at this person. This person's stuck. Wherever they at, wherever they at, they stuck. They are stuck. They are trapped, okay? It could be another relationship. Trapped, okay? Three of Wands. They waiting on something to come through for them. Two of Wands. They try to plan it out, but they see that their plans were unsuccessful. But look, Seven of Wands. They still want to fight for this family and this home life with you. But they still have some type of secrets and lies that they have not revealed to you yet, Virgo. All right? When it has to do with a partnership, whether you or this person they, they was dealing with, or these options, or what have you, okay? To be honest, Virgo, everybody has a free will. But to be honest with you, I would not go back to this person. This person ain't shit. Mm. They ain't shit. Please take that new opportunity that you have coming. But I'm seeing that y'all are doing that. Okay? Yeah, some of y'all give it to somebody else. When I said that, it was the Six of Pentacles. Okay? Okay? Ooh, ooh, Ten of Pentacles, baby. Stop it. Virgo! You ain't bothered. Yeah, you ain't bothered. Y'all moving on. <laughs> Virgo said, I'm moving on, honey. Yay! So, we got the Ace of Swords. So, you got clarity. All right. Then we have the Knight of uh, Cups here. So, they got an offer this person want to give you. But it's like you're holding back. Nah, look at this shit. No, 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 no. Four of Cups in reverse. Four of Wands and Seven of Swords. No, 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 no. So, they're still with the lies. They're still... It's like they're sneaking away from wherever they're at. And also, it's like they, they're not taking no for an answer is what I'm getting. They're not taking no for an answer, Virgo. So you choose to deal with it if you want to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you guys a spiritual message. I'm going to let you guys go. But definitely, honey. Confirmation, look at that. If y'all hear that um, beeping noise, Okay. So let's see what else is coming. See, you're blossoming. You're blossoming here, Virgo. Okay, some of you also could be birthing a child. For some of y'all, so some of y'all definitely are finding balance in your life at this time. All right, you're definitely giving and receiving with someone here. And yes, see, you have that joy stability, Virgo. That's why you're not bothered about this. Okay, you're working on things and purging things out of your life and telling the universe what it is that you want. Okay. And if you um, 